Hello there. Today we're going to be taking a look at AMD's FSR 3.1 frame gen in Cyberpunk on Mac and seeing how it goes across three different Macs. All right, let's get to it. I thought we'd start this video with my little M4 Mac Mini. Many people assume that by simply enabling frame gen will boost performance on any Mac. As a general rule, you need a base FPS of at least 60 to get a good experience with frame generation. A high refresh rate or variable refresh rate monitor also helps significantly. It's usually not ideal on a 60 Hz display. Anyway, my M4 Mac Mini is unable to pull off a high FPS at respectable resolutions. This means base M1 to M3 are obviously worse. For example, this is 1080p low preset with metal effects on performance, which is using a scaling input res of 960 by 540. The frame rate is anywhere from 50 to 70 FPS. Yes, we are seeing well over 60 FPS with frame gen enabled, but it doesn't really work well due to the poor frame pacing. Even with the high FPS, the uneven delivery of real and generated frames, slow, fast, slow, fast, causes visible judder, not smoothness per se, because our eyes still feel the rhythm of the lower base frame rate. I also did a small comparison between Metal FX and FSR 3, and there isn't really a noticeable difference visually or performance wise. Metal FX is using temporal upscaling and is similar to FSR 3 in this port. A very good way to visually see the difference with frame gen enabled or disabled, especially with this YouTube video, is when running the game at 1080p medium, which provides about 20 to 30 plus FPS. When enabling frame gen, we are getting up to 50 FPS, which you might think is good, but it introduces noticeable input lag and visual artifacts. It looks awful. I also believe the FPS graph is showing us the value for the real frame and generated frames. Red bars represent real base frames rendered by the GPU. Blue bars represent generated frames produced via frame generation, for example, using motion vectors. However, I don't think Apple has publicly documented the exact color coding for frame gen in the Metal Hut, I think. This is why I love how CD Projekt Red have added the For This Mac preset. On this M4 Mac Mini, it targets 1080p high with an FPS target of 30 and Metal FX is on dynamic resolution scaling. Having a locked 30 FPS is a much better experience. Another good way to go is by playing the game with a 40 FPS cap. This is a good option for those seeking a more performance mode option. Up next, we have my 14 inch MacBook Pro with M4 Pro. Frame gen works a lot better here, but we do need to utilize an upscaler like Metal FX or FSR to achieve good results. For example, at 1080p medium, we are often hitting a little below 60 FPS, which again, probably isn't an ideal situation for using frame gen. It can go as low as 40 FPS during very challenging scenes like this race. Yes, we are hitting upwards of 90 FPS here with frame gen, but in person, the visual presentation just doesn't look very good. Enabling Metal FX Balanced, which uses a scaling input res of 1129 by 635, typically provides over 60 FPS on this Mac. This now works much better, usually providing well over 100 FPS with frame gen. It's also worth noting, you can't enable VSync when using frame gen, which is a little disappointing as it would be great to lock it to my monitor's 120 hertz refresh rate. 
I also did a quick comparison between Metal FX and FSR 3, and again, the results are very similar. I honestly can't tell the difference. I think this is due to Metal FX using temporal upscaling, and from what I see, it's very similar to FSR 3. Again, for the best experience on this Mac, I much prefer using the For This Mac preset. For This Mac preset on this Mac targets 1080p high and 60 FPS. It provides better frame pacing. We see a nice flat line in the frame graph for most of gameplay. Our last machine to look at is my 14 inch MacBook Pro with M3 Max. The game runs well for the most part at 1080p medium with frame gen, often pushing over 100 FPS. However, even on this powerful M3 Max, there are occasional dips below 60 FPS with it off. It's not as frequent as my M4 Pro, but still, it's probably less than ideal because, you know, as I keep saying, we want to be hitting 60 plus FPS to make proper use of this technology. This means we still need to utilize metal effects to see good results here. So this is 1080p high preset, but with metal effects on quality. We are also now seeing 60 plus FPS this way, which works wonderfully with frame gen. However, this chase scene, which is proving to be quite difficult to, to run well, is seeing a little below 60 FPS. I imagine on maybe a Mac Studio, you could have better results due to improved thermal management, but that's just a complete guess. So if we just ignore that, that one scene, uh, I did actually enjoy playing the game like this. Would I prefer to be playing without metal effects? Yes, but for me, visually, it, it, it looks okay, even at 1080p uh, with, you know, metal effects and so forth. The presentation is acceptable on my 120 hertz display. On this Mac, I ultimately like playing the game at 1080p high with metal effects on quality for a nice stable 60 FPS. I also like playing the game at 1440p with a preset of ray tracing medium. I also cap the FPS to 30 and use dynamic resolution scaling with metal effects. And yeah, using uh, metal effects scaling, it's obviously going to a low resolution at times, but it still looks pretty freaking awesome in my opinion. Anyway guys, that was a bit of a quick look at using frame generation in the Mac port of Cyberpunk. I think it can work well if you know how to use it. I think I've seen a lot of people uh, online saying that uh, you should just enable this on any Mac for better performance, but that's just not the case. Uh, it, it, uh, at least on Mac, it looks like you do need a fairly powerful machine to be able to utilize this well, and also you do need to use metal effects on the majority of Macs to get good results. So yeah, I'm very curious to see how Metal Effects frame interpolation helps later in the year, that is for sure.